Hello and welcome to EMC Homebase. This is a short video presentation in which we will demonstrate one, the acquisition of the EMC Homebase agent software from EMC PowerLink, two, its installation, and three, its initial or basic configuration. On logging into EMC PowerLink, navigate to Support, Software Downloads, Software E2I, and finally to the Home Base tab. Select the appropriate software for the agent, be it 32 or 64 bit, and for the appropriate platform, and save it to a local directory. In this demonstration, we will save the file to our desktop. The file is provided as a zip archive from PowerLink. Using an available compression tool to expand the zip archive, save the contents to a separate directory and in this case we have done so to our desktop. The contents of the zip archive may be seen in this view. There is an agent.properties file, a home base agent executable, two XML configuration files for profiling and recovery respectively, and a response.txt file for silent installation of the agents during recovery and or operating system deployment. Let's take a brief moment to look at the response.txt file. You may carefully customize this for future silent installation of the home base agent if you wish, or you may create your own silent installation script using a command line option. This is fully documented in the supporting product documentation. Okay, let's start our installation of the home base agent by double clicking on the agent executable from the expanded folder. A splash screen will appear which will show the decompression of the installer. A welcome page is presented showing the product name and initial support contact references. Click next. Read and accept the terms of the end user license agreement and click next. You may direct the installation to a location of your choice or you may accept the sensible default offered. Click next. A pre-installation summary page is shown from where you may click to continue the installation or go back to review and change your selection. Let's move on through the install button. A home base runtime Java is installed along with other components. We now have to elect whether the agent is to be used for either generating regular profiles from a working production server or is being installed on a fresh operating system for purpose of recovery. In this particular instance, we will elect to generate home base profiles. To establish communication with an already installed home base server, we are required to enter the home base server or proxy if installed, IP address or resolvable hostname or fully qualified domain name. Upon first installation, you will be offered the opportunity to license the home base agent for evaluation purposes. And if you wish to do so, you should tick the Request Evaluation License checkbox. In this example, a provided license badge code has been granted by EMC Licensing and will be placed into the entry field. A license corresponding to this batch code should be available from the home base server nominated previously. A summary of the applied license will now be displayed. This summary indicates the batch code applied, the product being licensed, the type of license, the agent identity as recognized by the home base server, and the validity of the license. A standalone scheduling capability is provided within the agent to allow the agent to be run at a prescribed time on a prescribed day. In reality, this scheduling should 
where possible, be driven by the in-use backup manager client or administrative client to ensure contiguity of the home-based profile and the backup. The profile should be completed immediately prior to the backup commencing. The generation of a profile will normally be completed in less than five minutes. In this instance, we will schedule the home-based profiler to run at 2 a.m. daily. A successful installation and licensing is confirmed by this panel, which indicates the configured destination home base server and the path in the server profiles repository where the profiles are to be found. A final confirmation page is now displayed. Returning now to our desktop, from the start menu we can see that under all programs, a new entry for the EMC Homebase Agent has been created. This offers a command prompt, an explorer window onto the installation directory and an uninstaller. Please note that there is no means of initiating the Homebase Agent from this menu. Let's now go to the command prompt and issue some basic commands to confirm our installation. Issuing HBA-version, we can display the installed agent version, essential for any support related activity. Issuing HBA lick show, we can provide details of the installed and applied license. Issuing HBA SVC status provides confirmation of the running of the home base agent service. The installation of the home base agent has now been successfully completed. The agent is now ready to start protecting the server functionality by generating its first and subsequent profiles. We shall cover this in another video. Thank you for watching.